Hello and welcome to Raj Sabha Television. I am Akhilesh Suman and you are watching very special program Indian Standard Time. Indian Standard Time is a window to the world through which we try to showcase a particular country, its society, its culture, economy, its relationship to the outer world and also to India. And the guest of honor today is Excellency the Ambassador of Nepal, Mr. Nilambar Acharya. Welcome sir. Welcome Thank to you. Raj Sabha Television. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Nepal is very interesting country. You know that uh, Nepal is so full of you know beauty, natural beauty. But uh, do you think that you are attracting so many tourists as you expected earlier? Ah, uh, 2020. Yeah. 2020 is being uh, observed as visit Nepal year. Yeah. Uh, so we are concentrating uh, on attracting uh, tourists uh, to Nepal. Right, sir. Tourism, uh, you know, tourism also require, you know, that some social peace. And, uh, you know, Nepal had undergone a big unrest in the past. Uh, Communist Party uh, came to power. And Communist Party is, uh, you know, ruling Nepal now. So, what is the social situation now? What is the situation of conflict? Nepal has uh, undergone many transformations. Right, right. Uh, there were periods of instability, period, periods of un, unrest, right. decades of uh, instability, decades of movements, people's movement, violent struggle, and so uh, and so on. Now we have solved the political uh, issue, main political issue. That the issue is about the, what political system we should have. Yeah. Uh, the issue was it was long. Long before, in 1951, it was declared that we should have constitution uh, advocated by elected constituent assembly. Right. That agenda has been fulfilled now, now in yeah. 2015. Yeah. Uh, so we have, uh, we have decided our political system. So it is time, proper time, appropriate time, that now we can concentrate on economic agenda, on building prosperity uh, for the people of uh, Nepal. Uh, for country and uh, making people happy, happy Nepali, yes, our right, prime right. our prime minister. But, has but said. this is also very interesting. So I I will tell you now it is the period of um, stable peace. Like it's a it's a democracy. Nepal is a democracy, even if it is being ruled by Communist Party of. Nepal is a multi-party democracy. Democracy, right? Multi-party democracy. It is uh, committed to. Pluralism, plurality of opinion, plurality of organizations. Uh, so uh, Nepal is committed to uh, civil freedoms, civil liberties. Right. Uh, so it is uh, as normal, say, um, parliamentary system anywhere in India. But we have uh, some different type of elections because we are very inclusive society. Right. So we have electoral system which gar guarantees that at least minimum 33% of women uh, will be member of 30, parliament. 33%? Minimum 33%. Okay. In, was, in parliament? In parliament. Guaranteed. guaranteed. They not, are there in parliament now? Uh, now there are 34%. In 34% women are in Nepalese parliament? Uh, yeah, Nepalese parliament. That okay. is guaranteed by constitution. Okay. That is because of our, our electoral system. Okay. Uh, uh, for example, in local uh, local bodies, local uh, representative elected bodies, there are about 40 percent uh, women. Hmm. So it is guaranteed that if uh, say chairman uh, chairperson is uh, of one gender, then uh, uh, deputy will be another gender. Oh. Uh, uh, so it is guaranteed that if president is one uh, of one gender, uh, vice president with uh, another gender. So, oh. so uh, these are differences, but it has, uh, uh, it has under democratic political system in order to include uh, all the segments of our society. But uh, even in the provincial, uh, you have provinces. Yeah. In provincial elections also the same type the, of... The same type. The yeah. same type. Yeah. That is, that is inclusive electoral system okay. that is that is combined uh, first past the post system yeah. that is we call direct elections uh, then other is 40 percent 60 percent first past system 40 percent uh, from proportional. proportional system okay so uh, and when parties uh, say decide about candidates they have to give this 50 percent women candidates 
certain percent uh, for uh, Dalits, certain uh, percent uh, for uh, this and that ethnicity group, and so on. So, sir, tell me one thing that uh, Madhesi, after you adopted the constitution, there was a lot of resentment from Madhesi population. They even blocked, uh, you know, uh, the road that was going from India to Nepal. What is the situation of Madhesis now? Are you trying to reconcile no, with they, them, they, or they, they are uh, it, 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 it is not they blocked the roads. Yeah. Uh, 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 there was resentment. Uh, uh, there was dis uh, dissatisfaction of uh, Madhesh based party. There was there was uh, some uh, movement. Hmm. Uh, but but it was uh, not against the constitution as a whole. Right. Uh, they wanted uh, to uh, say improve their uh, representation. They wanted to have uh, some special rights. They still want. Yeah. They st they still want. But it is it was not against federalism. It was not against this inclusion, this electoral system, and and so on. There were some satisfaction in some uh, some points of these parties. Right. No, I just wanted to know that uh, their grievances are being addressed or they had been No, they are, uh, they are in the government, they were in the government, uh, uh, they are in the uh, parliament, uh, they are within the system, within okay. the system, okay. uh, uh, they are talking. And our constitution is uh, democratic constitution. Uh, uh, dissatisfaction with uh, this uh, article or this provision right. is allowed by uh, very constitution. Mm. Uh, amendment of the constitution is allowed by the constitution. You can uh, say that I want amendment in that. Uh, that. So these discussions go on. Right. But but our constitution in its core, in its essence, is very inclusive. You will not find any constitution like the, uh, right, right. like that anywhere. You are bordering China. China is a communist party system. So do you get any special privilege uh, from Chinese side even uh, then both uh, uh, you know are being ruled by certain type of communist parties? Uh, we are uh, South Asian country. Yeah. Uh, major territories, almost all you may say uh, except to some part yeah. uh, are south of uh, Himalayas. Right. Himalayas. Mm. Uh, we have uh, very good uh, open uh, connectivity, you may say, connection, you may say, with India. Right. India. Our all transits are done uh, through India. Right. Uh, our uh, India is our uh, say largest trade partner. Mm. Uh, with India, uh, uh, we have historical ties, cultural ties, religious ties, sp uh, spiritual ties, right. many, other, uh, many, many other ties. Yeah. Uh, uh, China is our uh, neighbor. China, uh, and China is, uh, has achieved a great lot in, uh, in, uh, in its uh, economic performance. Right, right. Uh, it is great economic power. So, uh, and China has expanded its relations all over the world. Right. Uh, and being uh, a neighbor, we uh, cooperate with uh, all the neighbors. But but it should be understood that there is no special relationship with uh, any uh, special privilege, special relationship with any country. But objective condition, objective condition are such that we have great potentials with India to develop our relations right. and not only potential in the past also we had uh, with uh, India vast relations and uh, till now, till uh, today also India when we say foreign policy, we uh, said foreign relations, uh, it means major place important place occupied India. I am asking about any special, like uh, you have open borders with India. Do you have any open entry to Chinese, uh, inside no, China no, also? No, China, China is... Uh, uh, is a closed border. Uh, uh, China, need yeah, we need passport. But passport you need passport yeah, or pass visa or... Yeah, yeah. Visa also you need to go. Yeah, there. we need visa, visa also, also, yeah. So, sir, if you have come to China, you know that, uh, do you feel somehow or other, you are being trapped between two, you know, large nations, India and China? Is it a psychology in Nepal that we are not trapped? trapped? We are not trapped. We are lucky that uh, we are bordering uh, with uh, two great countries, with two great economies, with uh, great uh, markets, 
so uh, we should take advantage of the, the we should think about it uh, as assets uh, as assets uh, not something that we are trapped uh, something uh, to make grievances no yeah. so it is for us uh, great asset uh, and we can take advantage from the development achievements of both the countries and we should look at our development of Nepal, Nepal's interest. Uh, what is in the interest of Nepal we will be guided by, the, mm. by that, not by the, what uh, political system is in this country and in that country. Uh, and we should be also guided by uh, where it is easy to do business, easy to, do, uh, to develop connect, uh, connections, uh, develop relations. Right. Uh, so, we will be guided by possibilities, potentials. Mm. Uh, so, like that, every country is doing with, yeah, with yeah, China, yeah. so you are also yeah. not able yeah. and to... And China is our neighbor. Yeah. China is neighbor. With China, we have uh, friendly, cooperative mm. relations. And uh, these relations are developing. As our relations with India uh, are growing, developing, so, di you know, diversifying. Sir, sir, you are a diplomat here. You uh. are not just a career diplomat. Oh, you are not please, a career please. diplomat actually, but you are a politician. No. And it is really uh, very interesting to see a politician as an ambassador. And you interact with many people in India and Nepal both. Is there any sense of unease in both the countries uh, regarding relationship with Chin India, relationship with China? Some sort of tension is always why, there in why, Nepalese I, I can't understand why you people, some of you people, uh, compare uh, uh, relations, say, uh, China, India. In, with, India has, uh, with India, we have uh, uh, bilateral relations, very good relations. Uh, they are developing. We have, uh, we have close, warm relationship with India. Not only today. Yeah. It is from uh, very past, centuries-old relations. Right. Now we are going to diversify, modernize these uh, relations. Uh, uh, to enhance our uh, good neighborly relations to higher level, to raise higher level. So, what is useful for Nepal, what is useful for uh, India uh, and Nepal, we will do uh, that. What is useful for Nepal, China relations, uh, they do. where there are possibilities, we will we'll say use these possibilities. So, uh, no, need to the, uh, no need to say compare. Right. Uh, so, so there is some security concerns in India, seeing the relationship between India and China, you know, that there had been a, not a very, you know, sweet relationship sometimes in the past also. So there is a security concern in the mind of Indian leadership sometimes. And uh, there is a understanding that, you know, that Nepal will not provide it a space to be used against India anytime. So is there a guarantee from Nepalese side that uh, Nepalese soil, Nepalese territory will not be used against India in any way. So we have guaranteed, we have uh, a strong commitment that territories of Nepal and India will not be uh, used against each other. So we will not allow our uh, territory uh, to be used. What, what cooperation you need, we will do. Uh, and we understand sensitivities of uh, India. We, we understand concerns of India. Nepal will not do anything which goes against the uh, security interests or sensitivities of uh, India, Indian people. Okay. Okay. So, so our, we will not also allow to, uh, to use our country against any other country. But what, what I felt, uh, you know, the recently Rasina dialogue uh, was there in India. And uh, Rasina dialogue, uh, you know, Nepalese uh, leadership was also invited, as far as I could know. Uh, but no one came to Delhi for taking part in Rasina dialogue in 2020. So, is there any specific reason? No, there is no specific reason. Yeah. Because we have been participating in Rasina dialogue. Right, right. Uh, in uh, uh, latest, uh, last, uh, our foreign minister came. Yeah. Uh, uh, he participated. Uh, so he could not come uh, this time. It is different, different uh, thing. We are very much uh, say think that rational dialogue is good, uh, good platform. Mm. Uh, 
Uh, we couldn't participate, participate. It doesn't mean that we have negative. We have a very positive. Uh, in fact, we are. Uh, we want to learn uh, from this. You also uh, could not participate. I think. Uh, uh, this practice, yeah. this uh, this pra pra Raisna dialogue. Yeah. We are. We are ourselves uh, starting uh, Sagarmatha Sambat, Sagarmatha dialogue. So have you invited Prime Minister Narendra Modi for Sagarmatha dialogue? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So have you got uh, any positive response from his? No, it is, it is in the prime uh, <laughs> preliminary stage. Just okay. invited. Yes. Uh, that, uh, when when is that? Uh, it is beginning of April. Beginning of April. Uh, so uh, let us come back uh, again to India-Nepal relationship. Uh, Nepal has very good natural resources like water, but this water is not tapped properly like India Bhutan had tapped the potential of water and now I think Bhutan is you know quite you know comfortable as far as you know re, you know revenues are concerned but with India Nepal it could not uh, be the same case so what is the problem real problem that uh, so Nepal does not utilize we, we, water? we are used to, uh, to look at the things uh, in negative way so Arun 3 is uh, uh, a uh, great project 900 megawatt uh, it is working, uh, uh, it is under construction, many other projects uh, were uh, built uh, with the help of uh, uh, India. Now, now we want large scale, yeah. large. So there was, uh, 23 years ago, there was Mahakali hmm. uh, uh, Panjeshwar, but, uh, but uh, uh, even DPR is not prepared. Uh, so, with India, we have corporations. Mm. Uh, there are some difficulties uh, in implementation of some projects. Mm. Uh, for example, Pancheshwar uh, for 23 years is not Im implemented. But there are others which, had, which have been implemented and going construction. So, we can tell that, you know, uh, these uh, sharing, uh, you know, hydropower projects are also in pipeline many. Uh, yeah, yeah, of course, of yeah. course. Uh, there is no political hiccup uh, uh, as it was in past. No, th there is no political strings there. Yeah. Uh, only, only economic negotiations, economic so sharing of uh, benefits okay. uh, and sharing of costs and how, uh, these are the things. Sir, recently we came to know about this uh, Kalapani issue. Yeah. All of a sudden it, this Kalapani issue erupted and then it started, you know, uh, coming in the statements of various political dignitaries from Nepal. So, so how it came so suddenly? I mean, it was not seen in the past, not heard in the past. You see, it, you see, our our boundaries, borders. Yeah. Borders were worked by border working group. Major portion of border has been worked. Right. There are portions uh, which has been there are portions which have been not worked, uh, 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 not agreement. Uh, you may you may say. Kalapani, Susta, and other. Hmm. Uh, so, uh, we say this is our uh, territory. So, there is this uh, dispute. Uh, so, these outstanding issues should be settled. It, it, came, it came now because of uh, uh, publication of maps, but it is not new issue. It is new issue. Uh, border working group could not uh, could not settle this issue. So this issue was refer referred to the level of current secretaries, okay. outstanding. Uh, they will meet and talk and settle this issue. Yeah, so uh, MEA in India also gave a statement that border delineation issue is already in process. So I see Kalapani, if you say Kalapani is not your uh, man, then what is the way? The way is that to, to sit together and settle, we are friendly countries. And, and this mechanism is there. So, what is the you know trajectory, sir? Are you enjoying? I mean, that are is Nepal enjoying the open border between India and Nepal, or they want sort of you know, uh, you know, closing the border or something like that? Because many a times I hear from Nepalese side, some some people say that we should have a closed border. So, what is the? You uh, know, I also hear uh, different opinion from Indians, uh, uh, people also uh, Indian persons also. These are the uh, individual. Uh, opinion, individual opinion. Uh, individual opinion. And we are democratic country. Uh, any Indian scholar say, say this, other is, Indian scholar may say that. No. Uh, in Nepal also, uh, uh, there may be differences open. But uh, uh, there is open border. It will remain open uh, border. But uh, this open border should not be misused uh, 
uh, it should be uh, legally uh, legal border, peaceful border, uh, friendly border, uh, border. So there should be uh, no uh, so any uh, say illegal activities. Like you know that uh, do you want check post? Do you want passport to be shown on the border on the land so border? Where, where, uh, how you you brought this question? Maybe you want. Because you are uh, asking this, yeah. we have not. Uh, this is not the situation. These demands. Yeah. Yeah. It's uh, really interesting that uh, you know that uh, India and Nepal share such a good economy. You told that India is the largest trading partner, but recently uh, there was a notification from you know Commerce Ministry of India about restriction on palm oil, you know, trade. Nepal also exports palm oil uh, to, to, India. to India. So Nepal doesn't have any you know, palm tree in its own territory, but it exports. Uh, so do you think that this uh, you know, uh, notification will impact uh, Nepal's export also? Mm, so uh, I understand that it was not directed against Nepal. Okay. I understand that it was directed against the country which uh, which is major exporter of palm oil. Okay, <laughs> right. okay, because of some other uh, right. maybe reasons. Yeah. Uh, so uh, if Nepal uh, is affected, affected, or, uh, uh, then we will have talks and we will solve this uh, question. Mm. So there is no issue as far as you know trade, uh, any hindrance no, no, in the trade is concerned? The, for palm oil, the, there is now a difficulty because, because India has uh, put restrictions. But uh, we understand that it is not directed against Nepal. But till now there is no impact on palm oil export No, no, the, we, we, will, we, uh, we will proceed, we, it is uh, under pro, uh, process, uh, we will talk, we will uh, do what can be done. We will come to some agreement. So there is, uh, there is no impact as such till now. There will be impact if it is uh, restricted. Okay, there is uh, impact. Uh, but but uh, it is only recently. Uh, right, recent right, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, so uh, let us let us sit together. Let us uh, let us be in contact. But we are in contact. Yes. Uh. So sir, you know that. Uh, when uh, India Nepal relationship is so unique, we always tell roti beti karista. And in both the countries, there is a you know a strong sense for development. Nepal is also aspiring for doing very big as far as development is concerned. India is also aspiring. So, what you expect from India so that you know Nepal can progress at a pace that Nepal government wants? Nepal and India our development partner yeah. for development of uh, Nepal. Mm. So Nepal now uh, aiming at uh, accelerated development mm. of its economy. As I told you um, that our motto is mm. prosperous Nepal, mm. happy Nepali. Mm. And uh, now it is proper time to concentrate on economic development. Mm singularly because we have solved many uh, transformations, many economic uh, problems, in instability, uh, conflicts and, and uh, so on. In this, in this process, uh, we need uh, India's more involvement in economic development of Nepal. So in, in that context? In, invest, investment. Investment in agriculture, in industry, in 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 infrastructure, uh, in tourism, uh, industry, uh, industry uh, in hydro resources, uh, uh, wherever in uh, in say uh, jadi uh, herbal, uh, herbal, you know. medicinal yeah, yeah. Uh, herbs, yeah, in in many uh, ways, uh, even uh, in educational fields, uh, in social fields. For that purpose only, I think uh, you know. EPG, Eminent Persons Group, was formed between both the countries and you were also one of the members uh, as far as I understand. So what is the situation of EPG? That report has come out, have you presented it or it is just still it under? Is recognized, you know, it is recognized by the, both the government that EPG has completed its work. And you, have, you have submitted that? Uh, uh, in stipulated time. Uh, if both the government recognize that it has completed its uh, report in stipulated time, um, it means government has uh, uh, acknowledged that there is uh, a report is prepared, the report is ready. Uh, when uh, when government uh, will be ready uh, to receive it, 
Okay. Uh, EPG uh, people will uh, submit it. So the question is, EPG was constituted by the formed by two governments. Right. And it has prepared unanimous. Achha, okay. uh, unanimous report. One report. Yeah. Uh, not parallel one. Yeah. yeah. So it's, it's the achievement. It's the achievement. But it is recommendation from the eminent persons group. It is up to the government, government what to, to do consider, with, the, with the report. Uh, yeah. So when government will decide, so Indian government say, uh, decide to receive the report, uh, they will uh, receive and two government will decide how to uh, go further with these reports. So we are coming to the end of you know uh, our uh, you know talk conversation. So there is a one issue between India and Nepal, and that is related to the you know regional neighbor, neighbors like Bihar and Uttar Pradesh. They are affected by flood almost every year. So is there any understanding between the two countries that uh, this flood should be checked from Nepalese side? There is problem of a flood. There is problem of inundation, uh, like Kosi River and all. Yeah, yeah. The, so. First of all, that no structure uh, should be there to obstruct natural flow. Mm. Uh, that is one point. The other point is that what can be done uh, to ease uh, the life of the people uh, from the uh, uh, when there are floods. Yeah. Uh, because it is natural things uh, when there is uh, say monsoon, rainy season. Uh, rivers overflow. Right. Rivers overflow. You, you, if you block, uh, then it will uh, create disaster. Uh, disaster. In Nepal. Uh, uh, no, no, no and, and anywhere, if, anywhere. And if I, I don't block, then it will inundate uh, India. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. So the thing is that how to ease life of um, uh, people bordering, uh, uh, bordering both the countries, right. border countries, right. Indians and Nepali. In this in this um, area, about this, we, sh we should not think that this is this is Nepalese people uh, let them suffer or Indian people. Let them, it is common cause, common cause. We should come forward with solutions in order to make damage from the flood, damage from the uh, inundation, uh, minimum, uh, minimum. So this is the task for both the countries and there uh, there are mechanisms there mechanisms are mechanisms. Work, mechanisms working there uh, uh, so joint commit uh, joint uh, say group uh, visited areas okay uh, so flood prone inundation prone areas yeah. they are working on it so but but it is uh, a bit slow process we should expedite it okay we, sh we should cooperate in this uh, because it is uh, it is common uh, 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 it is common say goal that border people should not be uh, put in difficult situation because of floods and inundations. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. So thank you so much, Ambassador. Thank you so much for thank talking you. to Raj Sabha Television. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you.